Um. Hello. Today, I'm going to attempt to do a little birdhouse from a piece of scrap ash, I think it is. 99% sure. Um, it's just an easy way to use up little bits of wood. And you don't need a massive lathe to do them either. You can make these any shape you want. Um, there's no rules, obviously. Just as long as it looks good to you. I'm going to just get my Jacob's chuck and drill the 13 mil hole out and that found that when they're this size that's enough to lighten it up a bit if it's going to be a Christmas tree decoration or whatever. Um, I've met bigger ones that people put outside and well this fit. Um, that's a, a bigger one I've got glued up and that's done in three pieces you can do them in one or three or whatever and if you're a professional skill user you can get a spiral you can't quite see it on the bottom is a perfect spiral all around that piece of wood where i got a catch and it looks quite good <laughs> right Uh, tape measure. So if I go thirty-five mil, that 
will be thirty five. Speed down, move that. That's the end of my quill. Top off. That's a good enough finish on that for me because that's going to be covered up. Um, just neaten this outside up a bit. It's got a couple of lumps in it. to be touching your chalk. You can decide where you want your And the, I do a little perch there. can put a bit of masking tape over it which can help you not get tear out along your drill bit but where your drill bit was in but this is just that's all right Two forty after two forty, I always get a bit of mess, um, and then sand again.
Just let that dry off a second. These drill bits are really good. I can't remember where I bought it from, but um, they're called wood beavers. That had a thread on it. I just run thread off on a uh, bench grinder. They're called wood beavers. <laughs> wood beaver. Quite good. No. That should be dry now. So two forty again. Nice. I use Amtry Sheen's pre-thin sanding sealer. I do have chestnut that's it's neat, but I tend to use thicker stuff on bad, really bad punky wood. I know it might sound backwards, but I just find it, it works better. gonna go with a little bit of Amtry Sheen micro crystalline wax one of my favorite finishes I want to give a little shout out as well to um, Val, uh, we Val from Tackle Turnings. She's always doing little things. You probably all know her. I'm going to put a, a link to her channel in the description and I'll shove it in cards at top as well. Um, she does loads of little cute stuff, little nice things. The finishing's always looks perfect. Um, so check her out if you want anyway. Right, I'll give this a quick buff. Uh, if anybody likes blues or country music, or a, a, like a fusion of both, and you haven't heard of Chris Stapleton, I'm just listening to his Traveller album, and it's uh, absolutely brilliant. So check that out as well. Part this off. Right, so that's that bit done. It don't matter if inside's untidy because you can't see it. Right. So we need to make a top now. And I'm gonna use this same bit.
the bubble can go in. So we want it to be below 13. So what's that? So that is 14, 14, 14. saying no it's not fucking 26 12 smack on One twenty, the one eighty. Come back off. Let that dry a little bit. Um, I might put a bit of colour on it. Why not flame? Yeah, bit of flame. I've got no gloves, so I'm gonna have red fingers. Adam from Isle of Wood turning. He lives down south. I think he lives near Simon Hope, but he's a Yorkshireman originally, and. It proved the other day that he's a true Yorkshireman because he come up with the idea that when you fill your car up with diesel or petrol, you uh, grab a big handful of them uh, gloves. And obviously once you've touched them, because of COVID and everything, you've got to put them in your car for safety of everybody else, which I thought were an absolutely brilliant idea. I'll put a link to Adam's channel in as well. I like Adam, he's a, he's a good laugh. Right, let's let that dry off. Give it a spin. So this is flame from Intrinsic Colours, Hampshire Sheen, it's a lovely red. I was like a dying seagull. Hashtag week as well, so, or hashtag fortnight, I think it's hashtag Christmas decoration. So, I'll put this in. Put that back. Encourage this to dry a bit. So 
that's burnished that up. I'll go with micro crystalline again. Part him off. There you go. All I do is put a dab of glue in. Uh, I need to colour that underneath a little tiny bit, but do I really? Um, and that's it. You just my missus has got uh, wooden skewers. I just shove one in, snap it off, get a little nib, sandpaper, and it's done. Sand bottom. So, there you go. Simple scrap wood thing. You get a couple of quid for it, I reckon. Or make your mum or whoever happy. Whoever likes Christmas. Right, thank you. I'll see you there. That means bye in Yorkshire.